Hello friends and welcome to BISPSolutions.com with my business partner Tricon Technology Group. My name is Amit and in today's session I'm going to show you how to test cash flow template. So there's a cash flow business logic return in calculation manager. Today we see how to test it, how it works and there is another session in which I talk about how to write business logic for cash flow. So let's get started. Cash flow as the name indicate the movement of cash or cash outflow or inflow during your business activities which in turn consist of three type operating activities. So it often come from income statement items. So operating activities your usual business operation you cash receive or you pay cash. The second part of the cash flow is investing activities. So under this the selling or purchasing of your assets comes under investing activities. Finally you have financial activities. So the debt which you pay or the money you receive from debt comes under financial activities. So the first part of creating cash flow template is to design your account structure account dimension structure. So this is a sample account dimension structure I prepared. As you see in this it consists of three part operating activities which I mentioned as the money which you receive account receivable or money which you pay account payable. You say see the change in account receivable store under sorry the change of account receivable total would be difference between the two consecutive periods of account receivable. So maybe the difference between February and January would be stored under account receivable. Similarly the second node of your cash flow account is investing activities where you have sale and purchase of different assets and financial activities where you pay or receive money from debt long term debt. So let's first see the structure the outline structure. So when you log into your planning and budgeting cloud service you can open the dimension structure from navigation pane. There you find the separate hierarchy created for cash flow which in turn consists of cash flow total and three nodes under this operational investing and financial activities. Under operational activities you have different elements like account receivable, account payable, change in inventory and investing activities <coughs> sell and purchase of your assets and finally your financial activities your long term debt increase or decrease in your long term debt. So once calculation take place the output stored under cash flow elements for example change in account payable how it comes let's see over here change in account payable is a result of account receivable or change in account receivable is a difference of previous period minus current period. So you like to see the previous period if you are calculating for the month of February it would be account receivable for January minus February right. In a similar fashion we can calculate different members under current operations change in account receivable would be difference of two consecutive period. You can actually see this 1200 is part of your income statement. You can search over here. This is a name I can search. So this is total account receivable. So between two consecutive period the output store in change in account receivable. Similarly the change in inventory would be the difference between two consecutive periods of inventory account. Change in prepaid the difference between two consecutive periods of account expense account and so on for current operations. When you talk about investing activities as I said sell or purchase of your asset. So your fixed asset account of current period 
previous period minus current period would be change in equipment purchase other asset differences between previous and current period would be stored under change in other assets and finally your financial activities which is your the money which you receive through debt or you pay to debt so long term debt so difference between long term debt account for previous period and current period would store under increase or decrease in your long term debt and you have change in other equity which is in turn difference between two equities two period equities this is issuance of common stock issuance of or repurchase of common stock of two consecutive period would be stored under 3100 this is common stock account so let's see how it works so in order to test this calculation i prepare one data form we would open the data form input some number and test the output so you go to data form section you can open it from your home page data section under plans i created the data form testing called test cash flow plan click on this and as you see in the <coughs> as you see in the ppt the change in account receivable would be the difference between prior and current period so when you see the numbers over here change in account receivable should essentially be the difference between february period and january period it could be for quarter as well this 72365 would be difference between your january minus february you can test it once again you can put the value number put zero over here on upon save the business rule would be invoked and difference would be calculated in the month of february the business rule invoked and this is the output to make sure the numbers are correct we can use our smart way as we did in our previous session i created three excel sheet the first excel sheet contains the output rendered by your business rule second excel sheet the calculation i return in excel for example february change in account receivable would be difference between january minus february it means i calculated in excel and i like to compare the same numbers which calculated by your business rule and the difference between both of them should be zero which is called variance so variance is the difference between the calculation done by business rule minus calculation done in excel right the same i did copy everywhere you can test once again so i turn it out to zero and when you turn it out to zero you can see the variance is over here the variance but when you input number and submit this number the business rule will be invoked and the difference between both of them store over here which is same as the calculation done in excel and therefore variance is zero so once you find all variances are zero it means the calculation done by your calculation manager is logically correct so once you tested this in the second part of this presentation i talk about how to write calculation script or business rule to perform cash flow calculation that's it for today should you have any question please uh, feel free to write to bspsolutions.com thank you